Hi, I'm Randy, and this is a brand spanking new 2023 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 Crew Cab with a Z71 RST and the Black Widow Off-Road Package, all for $100,000. You see Chevrolet and Black Widow Trust partner together to give you this one-of-a-kind off-road truck. I'm gonna tell you why it costs that much. I'm gonna go through all the options and features of this truck and start it up and take it for a spin. So follow me and check it out. The Silverado Black Widow is strictly an off-road and visual package. The engine is not modified. Let's start off with the basics. The 4x4 Silverado comes with a 5.3 liter Ecotec V8 engine with a 10 speed automatic transmission. This V8 pushes out 355 horsepower and 383 pound feet of torque with a towing capacity of 11,000 pounds and a payload capacity of 2,300 pounds. To see this Silverado's review, just click the card above. Now let's start talking about the Black Widow. Black Widow's goal is to stay true to Chevy's brand name and make everything look like it came straight from the factory. The Black Widow Silverados are for drivers who demand more from their truck. Drivers that want something truly special that will stand out among the cookie cutter pickups out there. It's an off-road and visual powerhouse. One of the best reasons to get a Black Widow is because it comes with a three-year, 36,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty. These fenders look like it came straight from the factory, but they didn't. It's a Black Widow wide fender kit adding three inches of width to the front and back. Black Widows typically make outrageous fender flares that look like Liberty Walk, like this but they kept the Silverado looking sleek and clean. The Black Widow not only has its own badging, but it adds its own flavor of aggressiveness in the grill and the vents. The custom parts are designed and painted in their warehouse in Arizona. The logos are everywhere on this truck, letting everyone know that you paid $100,000 for this Black Widow. Black Widows all have Black Widow brake calibers, 20 inch Black Widow rims with 35 inch BF Goodrich tires. The off-road suspension is a 6 inch lift kit featuring high strength cross members, steering knuckles and upper control arms to tackle any terrain. They use Fox shocks to provide a comfortable on-road ride and predictable off-road handling in a variety of conditions. The muffler is stainless steel and has been incorporated into the stock exhaust pipes. By the way, there is a spare tire. The Black Widow comes with power running boards, although I'm not sure why they only come out when the rear passenger door opens. I read on the forum that that's just the way it is. The Black Widow comes with quilted red seats, but no storage in the seats like the typical Silverado. The seats have four different textures, including suede, and is perforated so it can breathe. If you stink, hey you. The floor is flat to give you more room and the seats should fold up and down, but maybe not the Black Widow. Let's see how much room is in the back seat. I'm six feet tall, I'm gonna sit behind myself. Ooh, that's cool. I have about six, seven, eight inch of lake space and about two and a half inches of headroom. There's a lot of space back here. There's an indention right here to give you more head space. And it cuts low right here, but then it goes back up right here where the sunroof is. Black Widows are all RSTs, which is the fifth highest trim level. The interior is impeccable, well laid out, and physical buttons everywhere so you don't have to dig into the infotainment system and crash. This is Chevy's 13.4 inch infotainment high definition screen with a knob for volume. Towing and safety levers are below that. HVAC buttons are straightforward with knobs. 
you'll find a mixture of CUSB and USB outlets throughout the truck. The transmission knob is girthy and stiff, not flimsy like a Porsche 911. <laughs> There's a lot of storage in this truck and to prove it, I'm gonna show you. There's a lot of storage in here. Press that button there, you get upper storage here. You have a lower glove compartment. On your door you have two spaces for cups and then you have a space for a bottle there. Go on the dash. There's a space behind the infotainment screen. I think that's a heads up display. You can go down. You have two cup holders here and a bottle holder right there. If you look in the center console, you have storage there, two cup holders, storage, and a phone charger right there. Here are a few words from my sponsor, Connell Chevrolet. I want to say thank you to Connell Chevrolet and Van, the internet sales manager, his picture is in the corner, for lending me their Black Widow for the day. If you're looking for a Chevy, give Van a call or email him. He'll work with you and get you into a vehicle you're looking for. He said especially this Black Widow. Links and information are in the description below. Now for the fun part, let's take this 2023 Chevrolet Silverado with the Black Widow package for a spin. The Black Widow gets to 60 in about 5.7 seconds. Pretty quick, right, for a 5,600 pound truck. This definitely gets a lot of attention like a Corvette does cruising down the street. You sit way higher than cars, SUVs, and trucks. Yes, I said trucks. Even trucks look tiny in here. People can't really see who's driving because you sit so high. Now the only thing I would modify in this truck is the horn. It sounds like any other truck out there. Maybe you want to get a blow horn for it. This truck is exactly $100,405. It's quite expensive. But if you just call Van, he's an internet consultant here, and his information is in the link below, you can probably get a discount on this truck. Now, I hope the owner doesn't see this entire video because he might be able to hook you up. I'm thinking you can modify a Silverado for less than $31,000, which this Black Widow package costs. Is it worth it? Well, you realize that after negotiating, you'll get this truck less than $100,000. Talk to Van. Because Chevy's partnership with Black Widow, this truck comes with a bumper to bumper warranty. The other side is, if you do it yourself, it may void the truck's warranty. It's like buying a C7 Corvette Stingray and adding a supercharger to it when you could just get a C7 Z06 with a full warranty and you know lots of research and development went into it. It's just a peace of mind that you know it's coming from Chevrolet. It can do a seven to 10 point turn easily because of this high definition camera. It gives you the top view, side view, front view. It gives you every view you want. And so you can see everything up to the centimeter between the car and the object. It's really easy to see. So you'll just have to go back and forth every time, but you'll get the job done, but you won't be hitting anything. It's pretty awesome. A lot of cars should have it. I know Chevrolet just added it, so it's really nice. Although the windows are big and easy to see out of, you sit so high that you still have to pay attention to your blind spots. This does have a safety warning system and adjust for the height, but you never know when a small car sneaks into your space. The ride is smooth, but a little floatier than a Silverado, most likely because of the lift kit and the off-road suspension. It's really comfortable in here. The ride is more like a Lexus than a BMW. Here's a Toyota Sienna van, and this Silverado with the Black Widow package towers about a foot over it. It's crazy, and then you have a, what is this, a Kia Soul? It's like a, it's like two feet over that Kia Soul. And then you get like this little Sentra here. It towers probably three feet over it. <laughs> this, this truck, this off-road truck, is amazingly tall and I'm not used to it. I'm really careful driving. If you want to make a statement, this is the one to get. 
Chevrolet has gone a long way with this interior. You're gonna get a huge infotainment screen and a huge digital display. It's all high definition. And you still get actual buttons for the HVAC and other on the off-road buttons. They're all physical. So there you go, the 2023 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 crew cap with the Z71 RST and a Black Widow off-road package. I enjoyed making the video for you. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification button below. I'm Randy. Sa -sa -sa -sa. See ya!